Hey guys, so I figured I'd do a quick video on this truck. It's my 1949 Ford F-105. It's the equivalent to the American F-4. So this used to be my grandfather's grain truck at one point. And he sold it to a guy in the late 80s. And just a few years ago, I managed to retrieve it back. So, I don't exactly know what my plans are with this thing. I've got another frame for it. So maybe convert it to a half ton. I'm not sure. I always hum and haw about that. But right now, it's just a junk holder. Tin, and square body box parts. The reason I thought about putting it on a, another chassis is I'm just not crazy about big trucks. Like brakes are expensive, split rim wheels, which most tire shops nowadays will not even touch because they're just dangerous. Not good. Death can happen. It's not good. A piece of plastic's just covering broken window. Um, that's the seed out of it. Pretty trashed. Wanted to fix it, but it's not great. We'll figure something out for a seat. Have a look inside. It. I stripped it out and now it just holds more parts. And yeah. So it's a. Uh, Four speed non synchronized transmission. So you're either speed shifting it or double clutching, which I don't, I'm not too thrilled about that. It just, to me, I don't think it would be very drivable, my opinion, anyways. But let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this on a half ton chassis or original as is yeah or uh yeah it would if i left it original it'd probably just stay as yard art unfortunately because where does a guy find brake parts and stuff and where does a guy want to stop with it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. A little info on these 48 to 52 trucks. So, this one is a 49, like I mentioned earlier. It's they're pretty much the same body from 48 to 50. And another interesting fact, these Canadian models, they, um, instead of being F1, F2, F3, F4, and so on, like the American trucks, they went by the gross vehicle weight rating so a half ton would be an F47 three quarter ton would be F68 and one ton is F105 but technically this is actually a ton and a half see the Canadian trucks they kind of skipped the uh, one-ton truck. 
So this is pretty much what you got. Whereas the Americans would be, like I said earlier, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, and so on. And yeah. And 1951, they changed the body a little bit on them. They had a completely different front clip, different hood. They also had a different dash and a larger back window. And yeah. Um, what else can I say about this thing? As you can see, it needs a lot of work. that in my last video but I'll show you under the hood except the the hoods not bolted on right now so I'll take that off and I'll bring it back so what we have here is an 8BA 239 flathead V8 see it's pretty rough and we have the heads off already. So you'll probably see a video of my dad and I pulling this sometime. You see bent valve there. Probably a few stuck valves. Overall she's she's seized. And she's she's not happy right now. Yeah, it's, it'll be a fun little project someday down the road. I don't know if I'll ever put this in the truck again. But probably probably see an LS, I imagine. Um, I'm not that exciting when it comes to engines, but we'll see what happens, I guess. And it should be pretty fun to work on this. I'm pretty excited about this project, even though I'm not completely sure what direction I want to go with this. So yeah, even says Forward on all the valves. I thought that was pretty cool. And Canada as well. Yeah, the heads are in the garage. You saw them on the last video, although I didn't show them that great. Yeah. You know, a guy should probably cut his grass soon. It's kind of long. Oh well. But this is my chassis. Pretty incomplete. So I'll be probably looking for some sort of IFS front end. I hear a Jaguar works pretty well, like a you know, 70 something to. 87 you can get them pretty cheap if you can find one but yeah it's a uh, guy gave it to me free if we unbolt the cab and the front clip so we did that and dragged her home another square body tank I got square body parts everywhere, and a lot of them need to go. One unfortunate thing about this is she's a little rusty there. Could use some repairs. A little rusty up there too. Running boards are a little rough, but I was thinking I would go for that kind of hot rod, rat rod looking thing. 
I guess. But yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that cab on this frame. Maybe we'll do a little little build series on it. Like with a some sort of IFS front end and I don't know what I'll do for rear end. I got a 57 to 72 9 inch from an F100 works, I hear. And also a four wheel drive S10 or S10 Blazer 10 bolt works. They're close to the right dimension. Also, I think there's a few 60s GM car rear ends that work, like Impalas or Biscaynes or something. They're 10 bolt as well. And then the Ford Explorer 8.8 .8 works pretty well here. And then I've also heard of 80s and 90s Thunderbird independent rear end as well. But yeah, if you want to see that kind of thing, let me know. Like this video. Subscribe, comment, do all those good things. And yeah. I would also like to talk about like the channel's future and the kind of things you'll maybe see on this channel. Like for example, I didn't really film it, but this isn't my truck, but um, I stripped a bunch of parts off of it, and then, like the harness and the computer and coil packs, the fuse block, intake manifold, all sorts of goodies from it, just to have for extras and to uh, maybe make a bench harness out of for free tuning for LS stuff. So that'd be kind of cool to see, I think. There's a few different Android and PC softwares for that. And, yeah. Um, you also won't, this, this channel won't always be about LS stuff. I think I'd like to try some revivals. I got a buddy with a yard with a few different vehicles and few different vintages and we'll maybe get into some carburetor and points and stuff like that and yeah let me know what else you guys want to see I'll just keep filming and doing this no matter how many subscribers or views I get and I I like documenting things so let me know what you want to see and we'll see if we can get it done and yeah thanks for watching like i said earlier like share subscribe it's always nice to see that so catch you on the next one yeah i'm still here um there's one thing or er, there's some other things i'd like to mention here um actually a couple shout outs to some other much bigger channels than me. I'll try to put uh, their links in the description. First off would be Mr. John 613 Budget Builds. He's He's got a cool uh, LS swap Firebird. He's kind of got the Knight Rider lights going on there too and everything. It's pretty cool. He's making it his own and He's does, he does all sorts of other budget friendly things. Like he put a, a snow plow on his ranger and he yeah. He made a like a boat thing. That was pretty cool. And then next up would be uh not for hire. He's got a few cool square bodies. He's got this crew cab six two diesel one. 
and he's got like a I think it's a big block one ton truck with a flatbed on it I think and right now he's also working on this cool cab over freight liner it's it's pretty cool I, I advise to check that out and then lastly but not least Penny's Hot Rods and Customs Corey's got this cool Henry J Gasser he's got a 55 Pontiac and I think a 58 and then He's got brothers and cousins with cars and two, and, and they they worked on a, a 52 Ford F1 pickup. It, it's really cool channel. Uh, just thought I'd give them a shout out, and they've been supporting me since the beginning of these videos, and I appreciate it. And I'll keep on supporting you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching.